What's up guys, welcome to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we've got a 3D printer, but not just any 3D printer. This one is the Creality 3D CR10 3D printer. Okay, so first off, disclaimer, I am no professional in 3D printing. I have never 3D printed before in my entire life, but I've always wanted to, and so, we got one. Now this one, it has a ton of great reviews. If you're looking into getting a 3D printer and you're wanting to start off somewhere, this is a good place to start off. There are cheaper ones out there, but it's very simple to use, very simple to use. So this has an LCD screen. It supports SD card for offline usage, which is which is a big plus. It's a big deal in the 3D printing world. Now the build volume is 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters, but I've seen a ton of videos of people creating some pretty large items. Now it does support a multi multitude of 3D printing filaments, including ABS, PLA, TPU, and more. The nozzle diameter where the filament actually comes out is 0.4 millimeters. It has a print speed of 155 millimeters per second, and it actually uses file formats G-Code, JPEG, OBJ, and STL. It's about 28 and a half pounds, so it's, it's got some girth to it. But let's just open this thing up and, uh, yeah, let's see what we got. Now, can you see me? There we go. Now, you, now you do have to put this together. It doesn't come fully assembled, obviously, so there will be some setup involved, and uh, I got a special surprise for for that actually. But uh, let's do this. Oh yeah. All right. So we got a box. Sounds like all the tools and stuff you're gonna need. Now this is the brain unit itself. Now it does come with uh, tape. Oh jeez, this thing is really in here. Don't worry, I got it. Whoo. Okay. Okay, so you got this knob that'll help you control this. On the side, you can see you have your USB port, your SD card. This is so you can change to 220 volt to 110 volt. Then you got your connectors here with your power plug and your on off switch with all the cables you need to connect it to the rest of the, uh, the rig itself. On the bottom, you can see there's where your fan is at. And it's all, it's all metal. All right, let's set that off. Let's see what's in here. Oh wow, look at that. You got a whole bunch of tools. Installation instructions, fantastic, with pictures and all. Your mini USB to USB, some sort of bracket, not sure what that goes to yet. Uh, some sort of a cylindrical thing. I don't know where that goes yet. And it actually comes with filament, which is really nice. What is this? Cool, PLA, 1.75 millimeter white. Nice, and this is some sort of a tube. I don't know what that is either. Oh cool, it comes with a spackle. So that way, whenever it's done, you can Peel it off. And it has a USB flash drive. This USB actually comes with a file already on it, I believe, which is like kind of like their little default thing where you can test out the unit itself. Here you've got tons of little screws. These are the nozzle pieces where the filament will actually come out. Uh, you got another screw and some washers. Oh, these are spare parts. Oh, nice. It's actually labeled spare parts. Cool. You gotta love it when they give you tools. That's always good. Oh yeah, these don't feel cheap either. I believe this is to actually cut off the uh, the filament. Pretty nice cutters. You got some zip ties, and in here you have some wrenches, flathead screwdriver, and some Allen wrenches. Okay, so here's the whole thing. There's a lot of tools. There's a lot of parts and pieces in here. I am, <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. Yes, I could follow instructions, but I figured, hey, if I'm gonna give you guys a video about a 3D printer, I'm gonna do it the right way and get a professional in here. Mr. Ben Guerrero the 3D professional. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're gonna do. He actually brought some samples um, from his house because he has 3D printers and uh, he has some really cool stuff. So stick around because I'm gonna show you those. But what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse of, of building this uh, and then we are gonna jump right into a sample print and then I'll let Ben give his final words and what he thinks about the CR10 because I have, don't have anything to compare it to. Anyway, all right, let's go. I did all that work by myself. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's on 220 volt. Turn it back, turn oh, it, turn, switch it off. Unplug it. Okay, we switched it to 110. Kids, don't do that. Oh, snap. It's on. Yes. Is it bad? No, that's good. <laughs> it's got power. <laughs> okay, cool. Basically, the readout's gonna have your temperature, uh, your nozzle temperature, and your bed temperature, and also the fan that runs on the extruder itself. All right, so now we're gonna go to the screen, and we're gonna go to... Oh, it's a button? 
Yes. So it's, oh. and then you have like a little this little dial to uh, to kind of scroll through your your um, your menu. So this is going to be the print from uh, SD card, and it kind of it'll show you everything that's in the SD cards. So we're gonna make a kitty cat and a uh, quick little time lapse. Enjoy. We changed our mind. We decided after doing some adjusting, and you can see we put the tape on here. We decided to do something a little different. It'll take like an hour and a half, right? Something like that. Yep. All right. So we're gonna sit here and just, right? We're just gonna stare at it for an hour and a half. Just gonna watch it the whole time. <laughs> we're 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 leaving. <laughs> we'll be back when it's over. All right, so it's finally done. So let me uh, let me peel this off. That actually turned out really good. It's really well detailed. It's got a little. It's a little dirty. It's got a little some fibers hanging off of it, but overall, it's pretty nice. Little baby adult group. So Ben actually brought some some samples. One of which is this big Pikachu. This is all one piece. You got a Pokeball, and then my favorites. So we got a Stormtrooper. It's like a battle damage with the skeleton on the inside. Really cool looking. The Boba Fett, this one's my favorite. It's got a skeleton on the inside. That one's really cool. We'll leave links down below uh, if you're interested in making these for yourself. Okay, so uh, that took what, like an hour and a half? Yeah. About an hour and a half to finish little miniature, tiny, baby, adult Groot. So overall, what do you think? What, you're, you're, you're the pro here. So of all the 3D printers that I've actually worked with, it's actually the, one of the best ones that you can do for the, for the price. The building took less than an hour to, to put it all together and uh, get it running, up and running. And the, the build volume is, is incredible for the price. It's, you can't beat that. Build all the way up to like here. Yeah, it's like almost 15 inches, 12 <clears throat> by 12 inches on the bottom. If you ever want to get into 3D printing, this would be the machine I would recommend to anyone. So build quality is good. Ease of use. Ease of use. It didn't take long to calibrate it at all, at all actually. I had to level this. We slapped down a couple layers of the tape, set it, and walked away. We actually went and ate lunch and came back. <laughs> and right as we came back in, it was done. Anyway, guys, that is it. Again, I'm going to leave links down in the description below. You guys go check it out for yourself. But as for now, get out of here.